We are your home theater and AV questions answered. This is AV Rant. Want your home theater or AV question answered by Tom and Rob? Send it to question at avrant.com. Welcome to AV Rant. I'm Tom Andrew and I'm here with Rob H. Nathan. Okay, Nathan wrote an article about the HDMI 2.1 spec on NNTech, which included the statement, quote, Moreover, recorded media, i.e. Ultra HD Blu-ray, does not currently support dynamic HDR, and when the next-gen standards emerge, it will bring a lot of other features, including a new content projection algorithm, which means that two primary sources for dynamic HDR content will be games and streaming media, which is an interesting thing given the focus of AMD's recent announced uh, free sync 2 technology, end quote. First, it seems odd to tout HDMI 2.1 as bringing dynamic HDR metadata when Dolby Vision can do it right now in the current HDMI spec. So what's the deal here? I don't know. Yeah, there was quite a bit of context around this quote um, because they were talking about HDMI 2.1 specifically. Right. And then they were mentioning how certain parts of the what's mentioned in the HDMI 2.1 spec don't require the 48 gigabits of bandwidth, which means that they should be able to get added to the existing cable structure, which is what I was saying too, something like dynamic HDR. Uh, you know, that shouldn't require 48 gigabits of bandwidth because you're not yeah. adding a whole bunch of extra data to it. Um, so when they are talking about when the next gen standard emerges they're talking about the next discs after ultra hd blu-ray um, they're talking about whatever's going to hold 8k and therefore that's going to have a new content protection algorithm of course it will every new disc structure does so they're not really talking about an ultra hd blu-ray spec that for some reason requires hdmi 2.1 and would have new copy protection to go along with it they're looking for farther into the future uh which is when this 48 gigabits will actually be necessary and starting to get into 8k resolution and things like that um and yeah as far as let's say we find out it isn't possible to add a form of dynamic metadata to hdr10 on existing ultra hd blu-ray discs now it should be samsung has already demonstrated doing exactly right, right. that so I'm not really concerned about that, but let's suppose for some reason it turns out that it isn't. We do have Dolby Vision. We know that's coming this year. So I'm not worried about that. If they decide, hey, we want dynamic metadata, there's a means of doing it right. already in existence. So yeah, uh, all of this is forward looking. It's, uh, it's, it's for what's coming after what we've barely just gotten into now. <laughs> and that answers his second question about the new content protection algorithm yeah. as well. So we'll skip that. Finally, Nathan shared sure. an HD Guru article that does a good job of explaining the current state of HDMI 2.1, ATSC 3.0, and the various HDR for, what is that? A plane? Okay, whatever. HDR oh, format. No. If you can hear I can't that, hear I'm sorry. What you're hearing. Sorry. The various <laughs> HDR formats. So we'll we'll share that too for you in our show notes. That's from yeah, HD it was a good uh, a good summary in case you're like, what the heck is Technicolor Advanced HDR and what? how does that tie into HLG and ATSC 3.0 broadcast and all that? So they, it's a good article to cover that stuff. Oh, good. Okay. Once your question answered, send it to question at avrant.com. AV Rant. Now go out and listen to something.